Hello, I'm back again. I wanted to talk about one of my current favourite handbags, which is by one of my current favourite handbag brands. Actually, I really like their brand as a whole. I don't know why I'm saying that it's just handbags I like. I love the clothing. I love the shoes. I think they are killing it. Um, they recently got a new creative director. And I feel like two years ago, I wasn't very interested in Coach. And I feel like now I'm obsessed. Um, their store is incredible. Their collaborations have been incredible. Their designs are incredible. Their craftsmanship is so much better. It's just all gotten better. It's all gotten more exciting. I love it. I'm I'm a, I'm turning into and I've turned into a huge coach fan, which I didn't. I never really thought of myself as a coach fan. I but I really am now. Um, so yeah, I want to talk. I've done a few actually coach videos, so feel free to have a look. But today I want to talk about the mini swagger bag. So to compare it to the size of my head, like it's basically the same size. So it's quite a small bag, although I do have quite a big head. But um. It's lovely, like, I have a seasonal limited edition version, so I have one with, like, butterflies on, which are 3D, and you can flip them around, and they are attached with press studs, so that's a really nice detail. Um, the swagger bag always has a kind of, I'm going to put it out there, like a bit of a Kelly Birkin style clasp at the front, um, and what's nice is you can actually open it doesn't do anything once it's open, it's literally just a design feature, but I like the fact that you can open it. Like when you get a jacket and it's got buttons here, but the buttons do nothing and you can't open them, I like the fact that you can open them, I think that's a really nice feature. You can wear it as a top handle bag, or you can wear it as a shoulder bag, which is really nice. I generally use it as a shoulder bag, just because I feel like this is quite little for me. I, I think it's just really cute as a crossbody bag. Um, I think it's adorable. Um, it's got some nice like branding on. It's got the coach tag here. It's got some coach detailing here. <laughs> um, where else has it got coach detailing? Um, oh, it's got the coach leather tag detailing. Um, oh, and obviously on the zips as well. Oh. Um, that's my hair falling out and landing on my top. Um, and coach there. And then once you are on the inside, you can open it up quite nice and wide actually, like that. And you've got the label in leather on the inside. You've got a pocket on the side, which just is open. And then you've got a zip away pocket on the other side where you can kind of store valuables. I wouldn't say it's a huge bag, to be honest. You can fit, so you can easily fit your phone in, you can fit some makeup in, you can fit a candle in. You, yeah, you can, you can fit a fair bit of stuff. I'd say maybe like a bottle of water, a really slim purse, a phone, a bit of makeup, house keys probably about it, maybe oyster card, that kind of thing, if you really wanted to cram it in. But I think you can fit your daily essentials in as long as you travel barely light. Um, but it's just really, it's so cute. In terms of the leather, I think it's really nice leather. I don't think it's quite as nice as the leather they use on the Rogue handbag, which is like a pebble leather, which I just adore. But it's a really nice, smooth, high quality leather. I've used this bag a fair few times actually and you just wouldn't know it, it looks great. It's such, it's, it's a really well made bag to be honest. Um, I don't think it, I don't think it costs crazy amounts. I think it's around the region of like 350 pounds. I might be wrong, <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. I can't really remember. I can, I can let anybody know if you want to comment below. But yeah, I think, I think it's just a really adorable handbag. Um, I think it's a great design. I love the fact that you can wear it in two different ways. Um, I think it looks good. I like. I love the butterfly detailing. I love. I love the way they've done a twist on the swagger. Like if you think that the swagger is a bit plain, then you can get this. Um, I think it's quite cool. I just. I really like it. I'm a huge fan of the swagger design. I think. I just think it's a really good 
I think it's a really good brand to buy into right now and I think it's a really good handbag to buy. Um, I do think the bigger swagger bag might be slightly more practical, but I mean, I just couldn't resist this one. It's so cute. I mean, just look at it. It's adorable. It's just fun. It's quirky. It's unusual. It still has a real feeling of luxury. To be honest, Coach these days, in the last like two years, their quality is so good. Um, and I don't think their prices are bad. I have an inkling the prices might go up soon. Uh, something tells me that they're kind of, they're gonna go up. I think, I think if you want to buy one, it's better to buy one now than in two years time. Cause I think in two years time, the price will have taken quite a few leaps up, like more than inflation leap up. And so I think, yeah, if you're going to buy one, buy one now because I think it's a cute handbag, I think. And I think it's gonna last well. I don't think it's so of the moment that it's gonna date badly. I think and it's just really wearable. I think if you get something like the butterfly finish, it's so unusual that it's gonna last well. And I love the quality. I love the black detailing of the zips. I think it's really cool. Um, there are other options to go for. Uh, I've seen them in pink silver, black, white, lime green, yellow. I've seen some really fun options and I think they're just a really cute, fun bag to carry around town. Um, I have I have quite a lot of handbags. I've got Chanel handbags, I've got Machino handbags, I've got quite a lot of handbags, I've got quite a lot of handbags. Um, but Coach is a big favourite of mine and I'm like, I'm really happy to carry around Coach and I'm really proud of how they're doing recently. I think they've really turned things around and made the brand just so much more exciting. It's like they've got all the heritage that they used to have, but now they have a real cool factor, which I'm really into. So yeah, I just wanted to share my mini swagger bag, talk about the, the quality a little bit, because I think it's a lot better than I think people give them credit for, and just share my thoughts and also, I know this is quite a rare style, so I'm not sure if everybody's that familiar with it, but I wanted to put it out there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye.